On this Denver Broncos film review, we're going to take a look at quarterback Drew Locke in his first three quarters versus the epic fourth quarter performance that he had. What changed? What do the Broncos need to do here? And I'm going to show you guys exactly what the coverage look is all across the board. It is third and nine here. And as you can see, this is the first down marker that I just drew the line at, okay? And with that, you have a too high safety look, okay? So there's a too high shell here. What type of alignment are the Chargers in? Well, if you look, he's a little bit inside alignment. He's got eyes peeking inside. This is more likely man coverage, man coverage man coverage, and then you've got man on the back, and then one-on-one -on -one right here. And so these safety guys are just lurkers. This is cover two man. And what you're going to see here from the Broncos on 39, I don't think the play calling helps Drew Locke out right here. You're going to see a vertical release here, a drag route underneath. He's going to run him off. He's going to swing out. He's going to step and then come back inside. But as you can see, they're attacking levels, right? Here's the first down marker, folks. They don't have any of these routes that are really going to attack that vertical seam to where they can get a first down outside of Noah Fant's. But here's Noah Fant. He's covered right here. He's got a safety here and a safety right here. Drew Locke has zero window right here to be able to throw this ball to Noah Fant. That's a tight window, and this guy could break on it. This guy could break on it, and Drew Locke makes the right decision here because you don't want to throw it short right here because this guy's going to cover quickly. Who's the open guy? Well, guess what? I'm going to lead Jerry Judy, and I'm going to hit him in stride here. It's only going to pick up four, but this isn't on Drew Locke. This is a great play by Locke, good play by the Broncos offensive line. I think more so this is a play call that needed to be able to test the field a little bit, and we didn't see that. So now let's take a look at the alignment here. Obviously, you got Bosa, Melvin Ingram right here. We usually see him lined up out here, but he's lined up on the inside, okay? They're going to send just pressure here from these four guys, and he's just going to stand around. So overall, the Broncos, I think they did a pretty good job here initially. So what you're going to see, Lloyd Cushenberry, he's got a zero technique, a guy head up on him. Dotson's going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Schlotman's going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Ingram if Ingram decides to come, which he doesn't. So Dalton Rice is going to chip down and help out right here on the defensive tackle. And then if this guy comes inside, he'll obviously switch and help out with Garrett Bulls there. So I think Drew Locke on this play has a great pocket to be able to stand in. And then right here, guess what? I'm just going to throw that ball right there. He does a great job. Finds Jerry Judy, tight window, four yards. This isn't on Drew Locke. This is more on the play calling on this play. This drive was set up by the Broncos after a Justin Simmons interception. And what you're going to see here in terms of route combination, I love it. This is levels. You're going to fake the handoff here. What you're going to have is you're going to have a route. It's going to be a corner route. You're going to have the dig route. And then you're just going to have a deep crossing pattern here. And then you're going to have Noah Fant releasing on an out route overall here for the Broncos. Um, I think right here, key matchup, Bosa against Bulls. Bulls initially does a great job, but guess what? Bosa has the inside right here, and he's going to swipe. And as you can see with the swim move, now if Locke, I can see where he's looking at. Look right here. He's got Bosa right here. His feet are initially in a place where they can get set, but here's the coverage guy right here, right? So if Drew Locke throws this ball, he has to throw it on an angle where it's a little bit over the top of this umbrella window because you got this guy right here. You got this guy right here. It's tough to be able to make this throw right into here. So Jerry Judy's going to keep running. Locke's going to throw while being hit, trying to lead Jerry Judy, and the pass falls a little incomplete. And on that one, I think initially everyone was like, oh, if he sets his feet, it's a touchdown. Well, it's hard to set your feet when you have pressure coming on the inside. So this was a game where I think Garrett Bowles had a couple of plays where, you know, he struggled against Bosa. Bosa's one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. And so what are the Broncos going against right here? Well, guess what? You're going with a wide guy right here. You're going with Melvin Ingram right here. These are two of the best pass rushers in the NFL. And what you have on the interior, you have a two-eye on Dalton Reisner. And then right here, you have a three technique. So you have a 32. And that's a 32 to the strength side altogether. Strength side because here is the tight end. Usually a lot of teams go with tight ends. Some teams go with receivers. Anyways, enough football terminology for you guys here. Fake the inside handoff right here. And as you can see, Drew Locke's going to go out. And look, he's just got, he's got Bosa right in his face here. If you try to make this throw, there's this guy sitting underneath right here. If you try to throw it, this guy could bring his ball side hand. He's already got Noah Fant covered. It's not going to be a good decision to throw it to Fant. So I see where he's looking with, with Jerry Judy. He's trying to lead him a little bit, but because of the pressure, the ball's going to float a little bit more outside. It's going to fall incomplete. All right, Broncos country, another third down situation here for the Denver Broncos. They're going to motion out to empty, okay? So where is the first down marker? Well, it's right here. All right, so as you notice, there's a four-man defensive front here by the Chargers. They're playing what we call a 4-2-5, and they're just really keeping these two cover guys, these two hybrid backers on the interior, and they're playing their defensive backs, literally playing 
at the sticks, keeping their heels on the sticks or playing in front of it because if they're going to try to get a first down, guess what? They have to take a shot in this threshold right here. And so really the Chargers, this is Drew Locke taking what the Chargers defense is giving him, right? And so you have to live with that. Here's the route combination what you're going to see. You're going to see a hitch up right here. Jerry Judy's going to run vertical right here. And what you're going to see is a corner route. You're going to see an over, and then you're just going to see a little bit of a hitch on the inside here. So really, guess what? He's going to hit the quick route coming on the interior right here with this wide receiver, with K.J. Hamler. He's going to find him here. Now, it's short of the first down, but guess what? The Broncos aren't in a situation where Drew Locke can throw this right here because guess what? This guy is playing a squat technique. He's just sitting on top of it. This safety is over the top. If Drew Locke's going to throw this ball, he's going to get back. He's going to get over the top, and more than likely, he's going to throw it in a harm's way. This is a smart play here by Drew Locke, and, and this is my reaction. Okay, When we watch the game broadcast, I think it's really easy for people to say, look, what are they doing here? Why did they throw that play call? But guess what? There's a method to the madness, so to speak, here for this Denver Broncos football team. They're taking what the defense has given them. This wasn't bad by Drew Locke. This Broncos team faces a third down once again, folks. Here's the deal, okay? You're going to see this matchup right here. Once again, a deep to high safety look. Here's the first down marker here for the Broncos, but you're going to see a swing. You're going to see a corner route by Noah Fant. You're going to see um, an inside come and sit, and he's going to sit right here, blah, 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 blah. Outside release, come back inside. Drew Locke makes a big boy throw and lasers this pass in here to Jerry Judy, folks. Right there. That is a tight window that is a ridiculous throw. Broncos take advantage of a one-on-one -on -one situation. They need more plays like this. So let's take a look at the defensive front. Obviously, a zero technique. Melvin Gordon right here. They like to disguise a lot. They, they like to stand on the inside backer. Bosa's right here. They're going to bring Melvin Ingram back around. He's going to have a one-on-one -on -one against Dalton Reisner. Dalton Reisner does a good job right here overall. But this is an absolute laser here from Drew Locke. What he is able to do here on this throw. Okay, so look, he's got that back foot set, that plant foot is set in the ground, and he's going to laser this pass inside to Jerry Judy. That is a ridiculous window and a great throw by Drew Locke. One of the biggest differences I've noticed between this first half performance and the second half, which we're going to get to here in just a moment, is just the Broncos on third down, they, they were very stalwart overall because there's no tempo. Really, it was just the same slow tempo, break the huddle, line up, call the play here. And that's why the Chargers, they played consistently with the two-eye safety look. That's why they played in front of the sticks a majority of the evening because the Broncos really weren't testing downfield. Jerry Jew is going to have a route. He's going to come back here. You're going to see a route on the inside and a sit, and then you're going to see KJ Hamler getting up the field here. But the Broncos really just trying to get a first down, keep the drive alive, and work on the baby passes here. Now, if you could take a look at the defensive front here, you're going to have a blitz here, blitz, 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 and these two backers are playing a shade. So he's going to cheat on the inside. He's going to be spying the running back. The running back swings out. He's going to take it here. If the running back stays, more than likely he's going to float on the interior right here as a spy. You've got man alignment as well right here. He's got number three. He's got number one. And then they've got a guy playing over the top as well. So if any of these routes come across, he's going to have to pick that up. But anyways, we're taking a look here at terminology. This is going to be a throw to Jerry Judy. You know, really not too much time for Locke to be able to set his feet cleanly to be able to fire this off. Tight coverage underneath here by the Chargers defensively. And, and look, I think the Chargers defense is pretty damn good. Contrary to what a lot of people say, this is tough overall. That is a good play by Casey Hayward. Uh, but the Broncos got in rhythm in the second half. This is beginning the second half here for this Broncos team. This is an RPO here on first down. You're going to have a route here from Jerry Judy, and Locke's going to fire it in there. But overall, you got a single high safety right here. So when you're reading the field, you're taking a look. Okay, I have a tight end right here. I have a tight end right here. What does the coverage look out of this four-man front? You're going to have the outside guy with Ingram right there, and your two tight inside linebackers. And then you got man coverage right here. So more than likely, you can assume that he's going to be spying this tight end. If he crashes down, he's going to be a run field defender. He's going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to be a single high safety here. And if this tight end right here, if that, if Noah Fant, if he steps down blocks, he's going to be an extra run defender off the edge, and you just have one-on-ones here. But overall, this is a quick RPO by the Broncos and Drew Locke. As you can see, he's going to release now. This is going to be a route that's designed to hit in this spot right here. This linebacker is trying to read Drew Locke right here. No offense extending out here, hoping this guy can close. He's going to step and then come inside, and Locke's got to fire that ball into that tight window. As you can see, he does it, and there's some depth that's going to fall incomplete. And this is going to lead to a little bit of fuel. Jerry Judy, he's in his bag right now. He's not too happy. He's, he just flipped the switch right there. He's not happy with what's been going on with the Broncos offense at that point up into this game. And he's going to be determined, and he's going to get into Drew Locke in a couple plays here. 
This play right here for the Denver Broncos is going to result in an interception. I'm going to pause it. You get the motion here from Jerry Judy. He's going to run an out and up. And same thing with Nofan. He's going to run an out and up as well. And the idea in this type of coverage, you can see the corner Hayward is playing tight depth. He's actually going to widen out and back up here. This guy's going to drop back. He's going to drop back. And ideally, what Drew Locke is trying to look for right here is if one of these guys really chooses to commit to either no fan or to Jerry Judy. I'm going to pause it right about here, right? You can maybe argue there was a little bit of a hold right here by the Los Angeles Chargers defender. But obviously, this guy has depth over the top right now. And Drew Locke on this one's just got to get some more air on this football because Jerry Judy gets separation. And this defensive back is not in a position. He's just playing the wide receiver. Judy's going to be downfield here. And watch right about here. If you get a little bit more air on it, guess what? That ball is going to land right here in the hands of Jerry Judy. He's off to the races for a touchdown. So this is a learning moment here for Drew Locke. He probably wants to go back on film and look at that. And, and here's where Vic Fangio ends up getting uh, pushed. And that's where you see the, the Band-Aid on the nose. He gets pushed into and knocks the shield into his face. But I want you guys to take a look here at K.J. Hamler. He's going to be a hero on this play. He saves a touchdown uh, from a pick six, essentially, here. He comes up with a big tackle. Luckily, the Broncos defense was able to get an interception as well following up here. But overall, let's take a look here. What is the defensive front showing us here for the Los Angeles Chargers? Well, you got wide here with Melvin Ingram coming off the edge. You have right now what we call a two-eye, and then you have a three. So once again, a 32 to the strength side, which is the tight end, right? Noah Fant's going to release out and up, so that's going to leave Dotson in a one-on-one -on -one here with Bosa. Uh, the Broncos, in a lot of times, the offensive line, they saw a lot of one-on-one matchups. One-on-one here, you got a little bit of a double team, and Reisner's peeking to see if he comes inside. He's going to cheat over to help out Bulls. You got a one-on-one -on -one here and a one-on-one -on -one here overall. I like going through every element of the game in terms of line play as it pertains to the outcome. But if Locke, like I said, if Locke throws that ball a little bit right here instead of a little underthrown there, it could be a touchdown for Jerry Judy. And like I said, going to pinpoint the effort here by a guy like KJ Hamler. Where is he? Where is he? Right. He's right here. At this point, he's blocked out of the play right here. He's going to take an angle. His effort right here saves a pick six, folks. And, and like I said, it's the little things. Little things like that coming up and making a tackle. They're going to separate winners from losers. Third and very long here for this Broncos football team. Jerry Judy, 43 yards on the play. And what is the trend, folks? We know that the first down marker is right here. So what we've been seeing from the Los Angeles Chargers out of their too high safety look is that they're playing either on the sticks or in front of the sticks. But they're going to play off here because it's third and long. This corner is going to play uh, tremendously off the ball, off the ball, off the ball as well. And Los Angeles in their dime package here because you have one, two, three, four, five, and essentially right here, a six defensive back all together here out of their look. And what they're going to do, they're just going to drop back. You're going to see route combinations here. You're going to see a chip release all the way across. You're going to see a swing angle route on the inside. And what you're going to see from the top of your screen from these routes right here is you're going to see a runoff vertically. You're going to see a runoff climb. And then you're going to see a runoff at about 50. He's going to break it all the way across here. And this is going to be a big time throw by Drew Locke. I think he does a great job in here against a four-man rush. Really dropping back, sitting in the pocket, finding Jerry Judy underneath here. And it's going to be a long-time catch and run. The Broncos, one of the best offenses in the NFL in terms of production, yards after the catch here overall. So what's the look here from the defensive front of the Chargers? Well, they're going to play wide here, wide here, and they're going to play zero technique. And of course, what we've seen from Melvin Ingram all night long, when they send four, he's going to stand close, and he's going to come back on these. You can't teach a dog new tricks here. And it's just a one-on-one -on -one here. Once again, one-on-one. -on -one, and the chip right here, he's going to climb him. And now Garrett Bull is going to have a one-on-one -on -one here, one-on-one, -on -one, and then a double team initially here at the point of attack. Drew Locke right here. Look at this. His feet are set. He is getting ready to launch and he throws it in a tight window because he fits that only in a place where Jerry Judy's going to get it. He doesn't want to lead him too far here, but I, I think he does a great job. Overall, bam! Right there because look, underneath, over the top, outside leverage, and then you got obviously a guy over here somewhere, but it doesn't matter to Jerry Judy. He's Judge Judy and Executioner. He don't give a damn about your defense. Yards after the catch. Big time play here from Jerry Judy. Drew Locke finds Albert Okuwebunam here for the touchdown, folks. And this is a play that is so similar to the one that he should have had against the New England Patriots. Folks, I mean, you're going to see KJ Handler come out here. What you're going to see is Philip Lee's going to swing on the out route. You're going to see Albert O release vertically, step outside, and then come right back up the seam. No offense, going to get a seam as well. And then you're going to have an underneath route right here. And Drew Locke, I think, does a great job. This is a high pass, but guess what? Don't matter because Albert Okuwebunam gets his ass in bounds, folks. Literally, he really does. This guy right here, he's waving it off, but guess what? Watch this. 
He's like, ah, you know, he wasn't down. He, you know, if something hit out of bounds, well, guess what? Ass counts in the NFL, folks. Get your ass down, and it's a touchdown. And Albert Wabunam, I think right here, phenomenal play. I mean, really coming down hard. But guess what? Two cheeks in. That's a touchdown, folks. Broncos going to catch the Chargers here in a cover three. He's going to have deep third, middle third, deep third here, flat defender, flat defender, and then you're going to have hook and then hook. And I think the Broncos, Drew Locke does a great job right here in terms of the route because Jerry Judy is going to release it right here. You're going to have an outside release and sit here. Noah Fance is going to run a sit out. And then you're going to have Deshaun Hamilton. He's going to run a deep over pattern here against cover three. And Drew Locke, the, the window that he throws this ball into, because look at this right here. Okay, here's Deshaun Hamilton. Look how many cover guys are here. Now, initially, this is designed to be really kind of a, a quick read, right? But ideally, because he's got protection, he's got one-on-one -on -one right here, one-on-one. -on -one. The Broncos O-line doing a pretty good job here. No offense going to sit. Worst case scenario, Drew Locke fires it to him for a first down. It's going to pick up a couple. But because he sees that they're playing cover three, well, guess what? You've got this guy playing here. So he knows that this route is going to come free because this guy is outside leverage. It's hard unless he really steps 45-degree angle over the top where he's going to get it. And as you can see here, I want you to take a look at these, these two inside guys right here. Locke's going to throw this football above them in a spot where they can't get it only where Deshaun can get it he's going to catch it he's going to run for a touchdown here the Broncos in business it's a one score game at this point folks let's take a look at it from the other angle here I want to pause it what is the defensive front folks well this is a cover three right so you're going to have Ingram you're going to have what we call right here your two eye and once again a three technique to the strong side what does that mean 32 to the strong side. Bam, outside there. I know you guys love me talking football here. Anyways, uh, continuing on here. I want you guys to see this window here. Drew Locke, great eyes right here. His feet are set, right? He has the perfect pocket right now to be able to throw. You know, maybe Lloyd Cushenberry's got to anchor down, step down inside right here. But outside of that, I want you guys to take a look right here. He throws the ball. Look at that window. Right over the top of these two slappies right here. Trail technique right here. Safety over pursues. Deshaun's going to catch it. He's going to run to daylight. Deshaun, daylight. Big game for him. He much, uh, much needed performance. Super happy for a guy like Hammy. The Broncos are driving here, folks, and Drew Locke, he's going to face some pressure. He understands when to escape the pocket here. Coming on the inside, right, there's no way that Drew Locke can sit in this pocket with the inside pressure right here. So he's going to drift to the outside. This is a good instance of where he's going to do it. Now he's got two receivers sitting right here. Oh, that's a horrible drawing anyways. Forgive me for that. So he's going to roll out right. This is a play reminiscent to the Detroit Lions game last year where Locke did this with Cortland Sutton. He's going to roll out to his right. Deshaun Hamilton, he stops. He understands that this guy's going to pursue, and he's going to throw it back side to Deshaun. He's going to catch it, get yards after the catch, pick up the first down and more. And the Broncos, they are on the ball, folks. They are going quick. Now, what you're going to see is the outside pressure. Obviously, Bosa not in the game here. You are going to see a two eye and a three, folks. What is that? You guys should already be able to tell me. First person to tell me that in the comment section, I'm going to give you a shout out um, as well. We call that a 32, but obviously, <laughs> uh, yeah. So what you're going to see here from Drew Locke, now you see the inside stunt, absolutely no way he could step up inside that pocket there, so he makes the right decision, rolls to the outside here, folks, and he improvises. Here's Deshaun right here, trying to get off a little bit of a hold here. He sees that, he's going to over-pursue a little bit, Locke's going to throw it backside, and you're going to get extra yards after the catch. Bam, down at the 34, Broncos going up tempo here. This is the game winner, folks. Everything on the line here. One second left. This is the final play of the game. Jerry Judy is going to run a drag route here. Uh, you're going to see a reverse motion here from Albert Okwebunum. He's going to come back, and he's going to chip release and then get upfield. Deshaun Hampton's going to come inside and then come on the outside here. But the play, really, the design here for K.J. Hamler, fake the inside handoff to Melvin Gordon, and then K.J. Hamler's going to come up underneath, and then Drew Locke's going to roll out to the right side. Uh, this is a play that they tried all week in practice, and they couldn't execute it according to K.J. Hamler. But, of course, when the game is on the line, it does here. Now, what you're going to see... I mean, I think you could easily call a hold right here. Jerry Judy coming across the field right here. Now, this guy is going to play coverage on K.J. Hamler, but he's got to make a choice, right? He's got to make a choice. I either got to stay on Jer uh, K.J. Hamler, or I got to come up and get into Drew Locke's face, or else he could potentially run it in for the game-winning touchdown here. So he makes the decision to cut off. That means this guy has to replace. Not sure if that was really communicated here. He's going to take a gamble at Locke, and Locke is patient enough to make this throw. And J uh, K.J. Hamler right here, Gets his ass down. Once again, two ass touchdowns in this game. And Jerry Judy tackles him here. Broncos win in walk-off fashion. A 31-30 victory after a 21-point deficit. They come back from 24-3 to win this football game here. You're going to see the crash down, the rollout here. Great patience here by Drew Locke. 
And then he's just going to fire it right here. KJ Hammer, feet and bounds, button bounds, actually. Touchdown. By God, he goes through the table. <laughs>